Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chalice Crystal, and thank you so much for clicking on my video. So today I got a wig install for you guys. These 4C edges though? You're not telling me this is not my real hair. Let's get into the install. As you guys know, the 4C edges are trending like crazy right now. So I reached out to one of my suppliers to see if they had it. And of course, they came through. This wig came with the 4C edges. It came pre-plucked and they bleached the knots for me. I'll be linking all the information for my vendor list in my description box. I want to include a clip from my lock girls. So how I get my wigs to lay super, super flat over my locks, I like to spray it with water and then I gel my edges and pull it back into a low sleek ponytail very very low i feel like it's better than twist and it's definitely better than braids your sleek low ponytail will be your best option i finally got my hands on the hd wig cap and i want to share my thoughts with you guys so you guys know the hd wig cap is also trending right now i honestly feel it is pantyhose I remember I used to use pantyhose to do my wig installs because how thin and sheer it is. And the HD wig caps gives off or mimics the same effect. However, for darker skin complexions, I do feel like you still have to do a little bit of work. Not as much as how the original caps or the original wig caps, but you still have to blend it into your skin. If you are on the more lighter shade or more light skin you really don't have to use makeup but other than that the cap is really cool it is super thin so you have to be careful with cutting it because it rips very very easily what i suggested i definitely would suggest it for someone who don't know how to really blend in their wig caps this wig cap is super super thin and anybody can be able to maneuver it and use it to get a flawless finish or a flawless ball cap method. Although my wigs already do come customized from my vendor with the plucked hairline, the bleach knots, I still like to go in and do a little bit of customization on my half on how I like to wear my hair. So the 4C edges, it was a lot. So I then went in and just thinned it out just a little bit so it could give a more natural effect and I liked it much better. I wanted to give some 4C edges. I wanted my edges to come down like sideburns. So I was playing around to mimic some sideburns on my wig. The same makeup I put on my cap is the same makeup I am putting on my lace. So just make sure it blends in. And yes, this lace is HD lace. I still like to cut my lace in three parts. I feel like it just works better. It's easy to maneuver. And I feel like it's a faster install. Of course, I'm going to use glue because I wanted to keep this wig on for at least a week. I did use about two layers of glue. I started with the middle and then I did the two sides. But y'all, I'm not even done yet. Do you not see how that hairline is coming in though? Oh my gosh, I wish like all wigs now can carry 4C hairlines because this looks so good. If you are struggling to find a wig vendor, if you are struggling to find a hair supplier, baby, I'm telling you right now, all the work is done for you. I'm giving you my hair vendors that I personally use. I have vendors for everything I believe. I like to find the source, whether it's for colored wigs, whether it's for factory wigs, bundles, raw hair. I definitely have everything listed in my vendor list. And of course, I use and test 
all of my suppliers before giving you guys this information and these are definitely the suppliers i use on a consistent basis this supplier is my affordable hair supplier meaning like they sell the same type of hair that you will get from these other chinese companies that are trending on youtube similar to your mega look hair your west kiss hair companies like that and they're affordable For that extra hold, I like to go in with my got to be spray and just spray my hairline to blend in that lace into my skin and to melt it a little bit more. I'm so happy with these 4C edges. Like, look at that. Oh, wow. I'm going to go in the lighter body and just put it on my hair and I put a little bit on my lace as well. And that gives another, that's another way to melt in your lace as well is to use foam. I've been loving how Meg the Stallion hair is right now. That kinky big look. So that was the look I was going for. I really didn't really go in to make my hair super flat. I just wanted the curls to pop a little bit and look more defined. So yeah, I just want to let y'all know I was still going for the big hair look. And I absolutely love how the curls was on this wig. It definitely gave kinky curly. And look at the reveal. These edges are amazing and my vendor did so good at bleaching them knots overall i love i love the edges i love how kinky this hair is i love how big and full this wig is overall it definitely gave what it was supposed to give and i definitely got the mech the stallion hair i was looking for i'm sorry but i cannot stop talking about these edges because y'all have to see it up close and personal 4C is definitely what it gave. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Thumbs me up. Talk to me in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Grab the vendor list, guys. You won't be disappointed. I met him in Philly and the name was Brown. Shook.